Okay, so this is part two on the Craftsman Tiller Carburetor. Got to pull it apart. Let's see. There's what the bowl looks like. It's nasty. Definitely needs to be cleaned. The float stuck. It won't even open. So it's definitely not getting any gas. Let's see if we can get the pin out. Keep you in frame a little better. Little pin. Uh, well, that's not good. That float is seized up in there. There we go. see the needle it is corroded bad oh, it's got quite a bit of nasty junk on it uh, got spring I don't want to lose that spring couldn't help it Screwdriver is they use to take these out with. The figures. Where, where is my screwdriver? I'll try with this one. I don't know if it'll do it or not. Oh, I think so. I think I got it. There it is. There's your main jet. That's what fuels it. And it is clogged solid. Well, it's clogged up. Seal looks pretty good. We'll try not to get any carburetor cleaner or anything on it because it'll make that swell up. So. That's about it. There's not a lot on these 
carburetors. They're already pretty well self-governed and everything. As long as you can get gas to them, they'll run. So we'll start spraying stuff out and seeing what we can do with a little bit of this. I'm going to put the bowl that back on the bowl and just fill it up with card cleaner and set it to the side let it soak a little bit check these jets on on this one to go. some of that crud off of it so it don't clog back up if I get a film on them and it, that film will actually peel and cause more corrosion in the carburetor so you want to try and get as much of that off as you can It's a little cool today, but not bad, not bad at all, so, got a little old, I got some gunk in there, Let's see if I can find my, this piece of wire, may be too big for my jet I may have to go with a smaller piece of wire yeah that's a little big Let's see what we got laying around there we go that little piece of wire Right there, and we'll go inside that jet and open that jet up. You can see light through it. So I can see light in it. Yeah. Still not seeing much light at the end of the rainbow here. Okay. There we go. Now she's opened up. I probably can't see it on camera, but I got the jet open. Spray a little fluid through. Oh yeah. So that's good. Now I want to work on the seat. If I can find my what I'm looking for. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for. 
for this video. Because you can't tell. I have a little wire brush that I use. And a white. And I can't find any of them, even one of them, right now. Uh, what did I do with them? So, hey, next time, you make a video, make sure you get all your tools together. Make a video with. That would be too easy to do, right? Oh, there it is. Ah, found it. Found it. My little cleaners for my card. For where the pin goes out. This gets really gummy. So sometimes you gotta just kind of take it. That's for cleaning the gun, a 22. But I'll scrub the sidewalls with that and try to get all that gunk off of them. And it does a pretty good job. And then I'll take this one. Yeah, so there we go. And scrub the inside of it. A little brick clean on it. Not brick clean, carburetor cleaner. And it fits just right down in there. You can polish out that little port there that the that the uh, Bolt bowl pin sits in. Get it good and clean so it's not all sticky. And uh, hopefully. Like I said, there's just not a whole lot to take off of these carburetors here. This is a fairly newer model, so not a lot of work to them. Main thing is get your needle clean again. Scrape all the crap off of it. Rub around it. This is plastic tipped. So I'm spraying brake cleaner on it on the camera. Break all that loose. That's why I don't cut my fingernails a whole lot because I use them to scrub dirt 
off of these little set pins and whatever else I'm working on. Still feels kind of kind of tight. it down in there far enough to clean and secure <sighs> clean all that crap out I'm hoping it'll run off of the gas that's in it it's not great but it's not terrible. Oh, I'm scrubbing. And then the video quality of this video is not gonna be great. I wish my if anybody watches this, I hope they enjoy it. And this is how I do stuff. I use what I got. You know, I enjoy bringing stuff back, making it run. When other people just want to throw it away because it quit working. You know. When I was raised, I didn't have a lot. So, other people's junk, I would take and fix, and then I'd have something. And today, society, everybody has quit for a god about fixing stuff or how to fix stuff. Most people don't even know how to fix stuff anymore. Don't want to know. That's a lot better. I think we might get away with that. All right. So let's put her back together. Like I said, there's not a lot to these things. Uh, all the jets seem to be open on it. The carburetor's not real dirty. I mean, it's got some dirt on it, but it's a tiller. So you expect it to have some dirt. And everything inside the carburetor seems to be open. So. We'll put it back together and see what happens. Can't hurt, right? So, I guess we got this as good as we're going to get it. It's open. trash off of it. Blow through it. You can see light through it. So let's hope it stays that way. Drop it back down in there. And you don't have to torque these things with everything you got, as long as you snug it. 
that's all it really takes. I used to really torque down on my figured out. That's how you break stuff. Let's see if we can get this back in place. back on there back in there and put the pin back in it so it should be open right there I can see the pin move. If you look right in there, you can see a pin dropping up and down. So, should be able to. Yep, gas going through. Flip it up, shut. Yep, she's sealed. So, hopefully. I'm going to work it a little bit, make sure. That don't stick. Alright. Let's check out the bowl. Ugh, it's still nasty. The spray, wipe her out, see how it comes out. I would love to have a parts cleaner, and I need to buy some parts cleaning like the bucket and just let stuff soak in which would be better than what I've got right now because I don't have anything but do it by hand but this is going to have to be scrubbed with something a little heavier because you can see all that's going to come loose that gas so I'm going to have to find something to put that screw in there upside down I don't know if that's sealed or not I'm trying to soak this bowl It is nasty. Still not. What is it? Yeah, I'm going to have to. Might find something to scrub this bowl out with. Hold on. Okay. I've got a little cleaner. I think I can live with that. Hopefully it won't clog back up on me. Get some fresh gas in it. Get it started up. Let's see. This one is set. Let's just turn this this way. Put our bolt back in it. And we'll go put her back on the the uh, 
the tiller. Let's see how she does. 